Hey everyone, this is Matt Lusto from Luxor Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the LuxMiner command line interface to scan your network for miner system data. This is particularly relevant if you're interested in deploying LuxOS firmware, but you're not sure if you have machines or control boards that are compatible. Before we get started, we'll go through a few things you'll need before you can run the scan. First, you'll need a computer connected to the same local network as the miners that you're looking for. Second, you'll need to know the range of IP addresses that you want to scan. You don't need to know each one individually, but you do need to know the range. To get started, we're going to navigate to luxor.tech firmware, and then the downloads page from there. After that, we're going to download the executable file specific to our operating system. I'm on a Mac with Apple Silicon, so I'm going to select Darwin ARM64. Once the file is downloaded, I'm going to rename the file. This isn't strictly necessary, but it will save me a little bit of time typing later on. After that, I'm going to move the file to the folder where I'll save the output files from the scan. Now that we have the file where we want it, we'll need to open terminal and navigate to that file. There's a step required before we can run the file, but I want to show you what it looks like if you try to run the file before we update the permissions. To run the CLI, you'll need to enter dot slash luxminer than whatever you named the file a moment ago. If you don't add any arguments, it should display the help menu. You'll notice the terminal output set shows permission denied. This is because some executables require escalated privileges. To enable running the executable, we're going to use chmod plus x. This escalates the permissions required to run this executable file. Notice how the icon changed next to the file in the folder. For some versions of macOS, that might be enough to run the file. But you'll see that when we try to run it again on my machine, which is running Ventura 13.3, there's one more step required. To resolve this, we're going to open System Settings, then go to Privacy and Security. Scroll down to where you see the error message. After that, click Allow Anyway, then we should be good to go after entering your password. To confirm that all of the previous steps were successful, we'll go back to the terminal where we left off and try to generate the Help menu from CLI. There's one more button to click. The Help menu shows all of the possible commands you can run with LuxMiner Client. Check them out, and if you have any questions, please reach out to the Luxor team. Before we proceed with the system scan, I want to make sure to highlight our documentation, which provides detailed instructions on all the commands you can run to capture or update pool data, as well as set hashboard voltage and frequency across your fleet. To proceed with the system scan, we're going to copy the example from our docs page and update the command along with the IP range. The file name after the dash O tells the CLI tool the name of the file you're storing the scanned data in. If you run it multiple times, make sure you update the file name. Otherwise, it will overwrite the old one. As I mentioned before, dot slash is required to run the file on a Mac. Here, I forgot. We'll skip ahead to where I corrected it. The scan takes a while because it's checking each IP address in the range you specify, so we'll skip ahead. Once you've run the scan, you'll see the CSV in the same folder where you ran the CLI. I'll open it quickly to show you the data that's captured, specifically the control boards in your fleet. Now, if you're running a Windows machine, the steps are very similar once it's downloaded, but there's some minor differences I wanted to make sure you're aware of. I'm going to download the AMD64 option for my Windows machine. After that, I'll rename the file and move it to my preferred working directory, just like before. From here, things get a little different. 
Windows doesn't require chmod, but you will need to open command prompt and run it as an administrator. With command prompt open, we just need to navigate to the working directory like we did before, prior to running commands. I'm going to confirm that I see the file in this directory, and then we should be ready to run the system scan. There are two primary differences for Windows. First, you don't need the dot slash at the front of the command. However, you do need to include the dot exe at the end of your file name. Otherwise, it runs just the same. That wraps up our tutorial on System Scan using LuxMiner CLI. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please check out our support page at support.luxor.tech. Thanks for watching and happy hashing.